What's up everybody? This is Daxon here with Weaver Family Farm. So today I just want to make this little video. Um, you can see a little bit of an update. Look at these green giants. They were about this tall when I put them in the ground three months ago. These things are shooting up. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. Just something gets me excited. But uh, um, I'm going to be using one of these moisture meters. Now this doesn't take batteries. You don't charge it. Nothing like that. Not really sure how it works, but somehow it does. Maybe with pressure, but... Um, I had lost a few of these and even some fruit trees and I had been watering um, Especially since everything's newer. See how this ground looks really dry here And it's you know hard pretty hard and dry up top. So I've been watering, you know Every other day every three every about every four or five days at the least um, But I had some uh, some of these like I said green giants and fruit trees and stuff dying and um I didn't understand because they're all getting the same amount of water all pretty well the same amount of sun um so it finally hit me i was like i bought this a couple months ago let's see what this thing says look at this one it looks you would think it's it's dying from being dry and now watch this <laughs> when i check it it'll it'll be dry on this one but i doubt it but this green giant right here is turning brown all right so you're like all right you know it needs more water well Let's put this in the ground and see what this says. Let's put it about an inch or so in the ground, not much. Oops. Because we know the roots of the tree are about like that deep. They're in little two inch container pots. Put it just about, a, put it about, just about an inch or so in the ground. And it's at about a six, so that's perfect. That's about where we want these to be all the time. So there's really no reason to give this water till we get down, you know, more into the the uh, bottom of the green or upper of the red. We don't want them to completely dry out. Um, but I asked uh, Panthers Nursery in Tennessee about what they said between like one and ten. And let's see, this goes to this goes to ten, and she said about a six um, is where we want these to be. Now let me check some of these other ones. Like this one's staying pretty green here, but just about an inch in the ground. That's actually showing wet. A little touchy here. I had to pull up a little bit. I had it a little too deep. It's pretty close to the roots. We can push it down a little bit. It's kind of really hard telling how deep this thing is. That's probably about an inch and a half or so. Let me move it somewhere else over here by the closer to the roots. So we're pretty close there. This one has you know still pretty well moist enough and it's been uh quite a few days since it rained i'm gonna try another one for the heck of it right there see this thing's still plenty moist and i had been watering it even though it turned brown well this is dead watch my other video about doing a scratch test where you can scratch it and if it's green under the outer layer of bark it's alive but we can see this is brown this thing's dead i'm gonna have to replace it i mean look at this you touch it just saw falls all the pieces um and something else to keep in mind like i was talking about those like to be right about a six you know kind of not soggy but not dried out different trees need different things this is a willow oak and it's staying pretty well green so i would say it can kind of tolerate either or a little bit more let me get this down in the ground closer to where the roots are Yeah, this is showing over 10. And this tree is doing perfectly healthy. It's even green down here. Um, nothing wrong with this tree. Green, green, green. Stayed green for a couple months ago since I put it in. Really, that's it for this video. And then, like, uh, I guess one more thing. Like, these are pink dogwood trees put in a line or driveway. And from what I understand, they can tolerate quite a bit moisture soil, soil and even three to five years from now is really when they'll be established, but I still might have to give them some water in times of drought. So let me check the soil here. So we want this soil a little bit on, more on the, we don't want it to be soggy, but. It's right about a six. So that probably won't hurt the water then tomorrow. So just do research about your trees and uh, you know, see what see what each one kind of likes better. Some trees are fine when the soil is almost dry, and some, you know, what they call like wet feet, do better when the soil is more wet. 
So just pay attention to that. Um, thumbs up this video if it helps. Also, of course, you can use your finger to uh, check the soil as well. You know, put your finger about an inch down, see how wet it is. But this this uh, little moisture meter gauge kind of gives me a better scale on one to ten, um, and they say put it about an inch down. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thumbs up if it was helpful. Comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.